with the dark time still raging fiercely throughout the United States, many eyes in imprisoned America turned hopefully, or desperately, toward the freedom of Canada. But in New York City, no one was permitted to leave without a government-issued letter of transit, which could be obtained only after receiving an ever-increasing required number of doses of the precious vaccine. And so, letters of transit became more valuable than gold on New York City's black market. Meanwhile, refugees from a synagogue in Brooklyn, temple gates of anxiety, wait impatiently in the last exit nightclub. There they sit, and kvetch, and kvetch, and kvetch. I told you, we should have left when they only required 100 doses. Now, they require 200 doses and there are no supplies. A man in my position has responsibilities, Yenta. I'm not only the Rabbi Schmutzig Pupik, I'm also the owner of Schmutzig Pupik's Knishes. I have a reputation to uphold. You know, your Pekakta Knish store was closed by the health department two months ago. Ah, but my gefilte fish side business, huh? Mm -hmm. Got a major deal pending. With the money I make, I'll be able to bribe the health inspector to reopen my Kanish store. And now that's the problem. You know, we're never gonna leave this for stinking city. Don't you see, and uh, with the money I'll make, I'll be able to buy us. Letters of transit. Ha! I should live long enough to see you make money. Ah. Uh, everyone in Brooklyn is dying to eat my knishes. No, everyone is dying from your knishes. Oh, you don't understand, Yenta. You never appreciated my knishes. Think of the flavors. Potato, uh, kasha, salmon. No, you mean salmonella. You win again. You never fell for that move before. We're distracted. Business is dead. No one can afford to hire detectives these days. But this joint is jumping, Mrs. Levinsky. Everyone spends their last dollar on drinking, thanks God. Even though all I got is seltzer. And with everyone waiting for letters of transit, this club has become the place to be in Brooklyn. Oh, hello, Miss Petrillo. I've got a couple more letters of transit for you to keep safe for me. Hey, Ezra, shh. Not so loud. Oh, sorry. I'm shocked, shocked to find that ventriloquism is going on in here. Don't worry, Frenchy. You'll get your cut of the action. I would prefer... I would prefer payment in the form of private time with a certain beautiful young lady. I think that Mrs. Levinsky knows who I have in mind. I'll arrange it. You're the last person I expected to walk into this club, Miss Helen. You're moving up in the world, Danny. How do you mean, Miss Helen? Oh, the last time I saw you, you were playing piano at the Knish store. Well, these days I'm lucky to be playing any place. These are desperate times for all of us, Danny. Not just for stereotyped black entertainers. Where's Trillo? I don't know. Sweet. No idea. What is it? Oh, you mean my patronizing smile? I use it to convey hidden meanings that aren't there. Oh. Play it, Danny. Play as time goes by. Can't do it, Miss Helen. Oh, will I hum it for you? No, please don't. 
I told you I can't play it. I'm sure you'll remember it. Of course I do, but it's under copyright. Trillo and Suede will get sued. Didn't their legal team take care of that? Legal team? They can't even afford an illegal team. <clears throat> Play something in the same genre that's in the public domain. Danny, I thought I told you never to play a copyright protected song. This one's public domain. Come on. We thought we'd never see you again. I wouldn't have come if it wasn't. The last time we saw you was at Schmutzig Puppet's Knish store. I had a Kasha Knish. I had a challah bagel. Oh, I had my favorite dish. Kishka. You loved it so much it was your nickname. <laughs> Do people still call you Kishka? Not since that day. I just wanted to forget. I've done nothing but remember. I forgot no sweat. You remembered the Kishka? I meant it metaphorically. No use crying over spilled Kishka. You said you needed some time to choose between Suede and me. But instead, you disappeared. I went to... Canada to join the Resistance. Yeah, we heard you hooked up with the secret leader of the Resistance, known to the world only as Brains. He's also here in Brooklyn now, undercover. But it's blown. What's blown? His cover. Who's cover? Brooklyn Brains? With Brains' is cover blown, they might blow out his brains. Whose brains? Brains is brains. He heard he's a big guy, brawny. Oh, skin and bones. Oh, what does he eat for breakfast? Oh, baked beans. He should eat braised brisket and broccoli and bran bread. A plan to bring him back to Canada nearly killed him. No. It was half baked. The beans? The plan! No. We both need to fly to Toronto tonight. I hear you have letters of transit. Who gave you that crazy idea? I'll pay you anything. Now you're talking, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, no, no way. Forget it. If you change your minds, I'll be staying at the Casa Noir Hotel. Well, Dolphys, for old time's sake, how about a roll in the sawdust? No, I need to save the world. Dreckschwein is alter Lustmulz. Was für ein Baum bist du? Let's get out of here, Trillo. I'm waiting for a certain young lady. Ain't nothing but trouble for you here. She's coming back. I know she's coming back. We can drive all night, get drunk. We can get drunk right here. You know this joint lost its liquor license. Well, they got here a seltzer. Of all the seltzer joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into Mrs. Levinsky's. Jello. Hey, Trillo. I tried. 
tried to reach it with you. No, I want those letters. Give them to me or you won't get these. Your favorites. Keep the rug along. But you could never resist them. I don't want them. I guess I had you all wrong. If you would do this for me and you won't even take the rugelach? Actually, I discovered I have a gluten allergy. Huh. Still, I love you, Trillo. Don't say that. Oh, okay. I love Sway too. But I think I love you more. I'll make sure Brains is on the plane tonight. But I won't go with him. I'm staying right here with you and Swain. Mostly with you. I can't think straight. All that seltzer. Then you'll have to get Sway to think for the both of us. Or three of us. Or four of us. Five. Six. Whatever you want. Be there at the airport. In case. Something goes wrong. <sighs> okay, Helen. I'll be there. Call me what you used to call me. Here's looking at you, Kishka. A gift for the beautiful woman. Oh, that stinks. What is it? A uh, uh, smoked whitefish. Schmucks it! <laughs> You're flirting again. Uh, you know, he, he's drunk again. Well, there's only seltzer here. Oh, he snuck the booze in. Uh, it fell off my fish truck. <laughs> oh, you drunk bastard. <laughs> For uh, oh, it, take it. It, it. It's delicious. You know, I need the sauce. I, I need it. Like, I need a hole in the head. Come. You're coming it's home. It's delectable. No. Love it. You'll love it. No, just Delicious. Go. From the greatest of the Great Lakes. Brains is on the plane. I've thought about it, and I'm sure of it now. I love you! You love who? Both of you. Sure. Suede is more handsome and clever. But you're well, I don't mind sharing. You need to get on the plane. What? You should be with Brains. Oh, Brains is a genius and I admire him, but it's not love. It's an overactive gag reflex. He needs you, Helen. So do I. The job you have to do with Brains is more important than anything that happens with us. Yeah, what goes on between a bunch of dummies in this crazy world doesn't amount to a hill of beans or Brussels sprouts or other foods that cause flatulence. Something stinks here. Hey, yeah. Don't look at me. <gasps> it's the white fish. Ooh. Watch it, lady. Helen, I'm no good at being emotionally stable. You can say that again. I'm no good at being emotionally stable. You said that already. But if that plane leaves and you're not on it, you'll regret it. No. Maybe not tomorrow or yesterday, but soon, and for the rest of Swade's life. On the other hand, if you insist on staying... What? What? What about us? What about... We'll always have schmutzig puppets. If the health department lets it reopen. 
And I thought I'd never say goodbye to you, God. Now, now. Here's looking at you, Jessica. Here's your stinky fish. There she is. She's getting on the plane. Hey, stop her. I cannot hear you, Captain Stress. Hey, put down that phone, Captain Stress. This is Captain Stress. Give me the control tower. I said put it down. Welcome to the Airport Automated Assistance Center. Control tower, quick! For flight information, press 1. Hello. For arrivals, press 2. Hello! For departures, press 3. I want the control tower, damn it! For the baggage department, press 4. Stress. He's dead. Round up the usual dummies. You look at this. He saw one of you. Look. And you. You. Listen to me. For a minute there, Frenchie, I wasn't sure about you. You owe me big time. You were gonna pay you that big time right now with the dang you wanted. Ooh la la. Mon Dieu. Bonsoir, my precious beauty. I hope you're up to doing the hoochie coochie all night long. Certainement, ma chérie. Certain ma. Well, Swade, looks like it's just you and me now. Trillo, I think this is the continuation of a dysfunctional relationship.
hear these instructions in ancient Sanskrit, press 86. For Yiddish, press 87. If you'd like to be connected to the control tower, press 88.